Let's take a look at some chart action for Sundial, the ticker symbol SNDL. Before we do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's go. All right, so Sundial, it's been running down ever since we kind of got rejection at this big top right here. And I've been looking at this moving average right here. There's been a lot of rejection coming in like this. Boom, boom, boom. Every time we kind of go into this area right here, we get rejected and we get pushed down a little bit. And it's just been slowly moving down. So the other day I was talking about how we actually broke out of it or we broke through it, should I say. But we got rejected when we come into the four hour time frame. You can see this moving average coming in right here. We got rejected from it. Boom. And then we've been pushing down ever since. If you go also to the daily time frame, you can see that we broke out right here. We got a little move up. But we hit this trend line and started pushing down again. So once we broke this one, it's been pushing down and we've been getting red candles. Right here, we came up and we got uh, testing it pretty much and we got rejected. So it's been pushing down and I'm kind of curious. I have this horizontal line at 110 right here and that's because we got some support right here and right here. So what I'm curious is are we going to just get a bounce right here and maybe just move in this triangle until we move to the upside or maybe bounce right here and move in this triangle and go to the downside. So there's a couple things that I'm looking at. On the moving averages, like I said, we just broke down. We just retested this daily moving average and we got rejected and we're pushing down now. So I don't like the way that looks. On the weekly time frame, we just broke down out of this weekly. So that doesn't look good either. As you can see right here, we broke above it. And ever since then, we were moving up. And that's how we got that big pump. And then we tested it right here. And we couldn't hack it. And we broke down. And now we're moving downwards. So I'm thinking we're looking a little bearish, honestly. It looks pretty bearish in general, honestly. So I'm not sure about that theory about the triangle moving sideways and then up but if we can get like no volume maybe that is possible if you go to this monthly time frame though we got this moving average coming in way down here so it's maybe i mean maybe we start to test these bottom levels or maybe this level right here that's what i'm kind of looking at is this level right here at about 94 cents something like that if you look at this 94 cent level, we had a wick down right here. So maybe it'll just come down and touch it and then go sideways some more or something like that. I mean, if you look right here, we came down, broke this trend line, right, here, broke this support line right here and just wicked down and then came back up and started back into this sideways motion a little bit. Pretty much. We also had support on it pretty much right here. We came up, came down and then got support on it. And then we got that push back up. So that's what I'm looking at is this 94 cent level. That's the next that level I'm basically looking at. Maybe we'll get a possibly a bounce there and then I, I'm not sure. It's possible we just stay in this area right here where we're bouncing something like this in a longer time frame. I mean, I'm really looking at the volume too and I'm not really seeing a lot of volume. There's a little bit of red coming in right here for this area right here. But it didn't continue and it hasn't followed through. It's There's really not a lot of volume, but we are breaking to the downside, I feel like. I think the momentum is pushing to the downside. I would look at this 94 cent level, maybe look at this trend line right here at maybe around 80 cents. So for now, in general, in my opinion, I feel like we're going down. And the next level to watch would maybe be this 94 cent level. I mean, the other thing you could definitely watch is this triangle pattern right here. I feel like um, we're going to watch this. And once we break to the downside or the upside, um, it's possible we go up to the upside and get rejected by maybe this 180 moving average or something. I honestly don't know. I just I think the moving averages are telling me that it's going to go to the downside. But let's wait and see. And if we'll see if I was actually right or not, it's possible I'm wrong. All right, if there's any stocks you guys want me to look at, let me know in the comments. And if you guys like that video, hit that thumbs up button.